to see you at the library. Let me know if you need any help. Thanks, Phil! I do like the way Phil can zoom across the room. Wow! There are so many different books to choose from. I know! It's bobby-tastic, isn't it? Hmm. But I'm not sure what sort of book I want to choose today. Well, what about this one, Nib? It's an information book about long, long ago. When I read this book, I can just imagine myself as a bobby knight, wearing armour and living in a bobby castle. I'm the bobby bravest knight ever. <coughs> Oh, it does look like a bobbintastic book, Oggy. But I don't think I want to borrow an information book today. What about this book then, Nip? It's a storybook about Blodiwed, a magical lady made from wild flowers. When I read this book, I can imagine I'm Blodiwed dancing in the field and talking to the birds. <laughs> I'm so bobbing beautiful. <laughs> oh, it does sound like a bobbintastic book, Bobbin. Oh, but I don't think I want to borrow a story book today. What sort of book would you like to read then, Nib? I'm not sure. I'd like to read a different kind of book. Oh dear. I wish we could help Nib find a book she'd like. There are things you need to see, so you should take a look through me. Hello, my name's Ruth, and I'm a poet. Who likes poems? Poets! Oh, fantastic. Well, you probably know some poems rhyme and some poems don't. Some poems are long and some poems are short. There are all different sorts of poems. And I've brought some of my favourite poems that I've written here today to read to you. And the first one is called Ships. Who likes Ships? Me! Me, 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 me too. Ships. Lick your fingers, lick your lips. Time for lishy, lushy chips. Fizzling fresh from Nellie's fryer. Enough to set your mouth on fire. Two big scoops for you and me. Make mine extra vinegary. Salty, steamy, golden brown. Blow a bit to cool them down. Then lick your fingers, lick your lips. Time for lishy, lushy chips. That's <laughs> fantastic. The next poem is called Nellie's Bloomers. Oh. And bloomers are an old fashioned word for pan. I wonder if anybody would like to hold these bloomers. What's the time? Five to nine. Nellie's bloomers on the line. Waving, waving in the breeze. Legs that reach below your knees. Purple, pink and navy blue. Flowery, spotty, stripy too. What's the time? Five to nine. Nellie's bloomers on the line. Oh, the children love those poems. Thanks, Thanks Bobby Nobulas. <laughs> now I've shown you what to do, so the rest is up to you. Poetry is amazing. I like the way some poems rhyme and some don't. Come on, you two, help me look. I'd like to choose a poetry book. <laughs> Could you help me, please? I'd like a book with poems in. So where should I look? 
a poetry book. I'm ready to zoom. Come along with me across the room. <laughs> Here you are, the poetry shelf. There's lots of choice, so help yourself. Oh, thank you, Phil. This is just what I need. I'm sure I'll find a book to read. <laughs> poem about the seaside. Oh, I can just imagine us all being there together. Licky, sticky, icy cream, beside seasidey, that's my dream. Beaky, squeaky, noisy gulls, ridey donkey, bobby along. Go on, giddy up. Yellowy, shiny, smiley sun. Happy, giggly, beachy fun. Suddenly, sadly, cloudy sky. Spitty, spotty. Why, oh why. Quickly, insidey, witty rain. Pleasy, lovely sunshine again. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you three. I can't wait to read my information book. I can't wait to read my story book. And I can't wait to read my poetry book. I'm pleased you chose some poetry. See you again soon at the library. <laughs> <laughs> Information books. They're full of interesting facts about anything you might want to know, from Bobby Castles to Bobby Cats. I really like reading story books. They're exciting, scary, and fun. You never know what will happen next. You could be anywhere under the sun. I really love reading poetry books because poetry simply sounds so great. Some poems rhyme and some poems don't. Bobby poetry. I just can't wait. Books. All sorts of books, open a book and take a look. Read information, stories, poems, just see what's inside a book. Happy reading! <laughs> Come on, Oggy! Guess what we're pretending to be? Oh, I don't know. Uh, give me a clue. With something you might see on a farm. <laughs> Think of something that pecks, pecks, pecks all day and lays eggs. Pecks and lays eggs. Ooh. Oh, I got it. Now we're all being hens! Yeah! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Morning, Molly, Mindy, Bob! Sorry to interrupt your fun, but I was wondering if you could possibly help me, please. Of course. We love helping. Mm -hmm. Well, it would be wonderful if you could sing to the Bobby Babies at the nursery party this afternoon. Mm. And could you make up a new song, especially for them, too? Of course, Molly. We'd love to. Thank you ever so much. See you later, then. Bye! Bye! Bye. How exciting! A new song, especially for the Bobby Babies. So who's got an idea? Mm. Hello, Brenda. I know. How about 
The wheels of Brenda's bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels of Brenda's bus go round and round all day long. <laughs> Oh, that's great, Oggy. But it's not really a new song, is it? You're right, Nib. We need to make up all new words. Something like, um... We the Bobby Nog sing all day long. We the Bobby Nog sing you this song. The Bobby babies will listen to us. Hello there again. <laughs> and all the Bobby Nogs on Brenda's bus. Wow. But I'm not sure that's quite right either. Why? Well, those were all new words, but I knew the tune already. It was Humpty Dumpty, wasn't it? You're right, Nib. Molly Mindy Bob wants a new song, so we need to make up a new tune as well as new words. But what sort of songs would the Bobby Babies like? I wish we knew. There are things you need to see, oh. so you should take a look through me. I'm sure these children will give you some ideas. Oh, I do hope so. Olay. I am a flamingo, I am a dancing flamingo. Olé! Olé! I am a flamingo, I am pink and I like dancing the flamingo. We're really magical. We can be an animal, any bunny animal we like. Look, look, look! We are monkeys. We go ooh 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 ooh. Long flowing arms and a funny face. You can be a monkey too, 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 too. We're really magical. We can be. <laughs> now I've shown you what to do, so the rest is up to you. That was bob -intastic. Our new song could be about animals too. And the children were really having fun. Oh yeah, all joining in and moving with the songs. Hey, the bobby babies love moving too. They especially like to dance, or boogie. <laughs> guess what I am? And please don't laugh. Get ready to guess. Yes, I'm a tall... Giraffe! <laughs> Bobintastic! There's only one thing to do. What? Finish making up our Bobby Baby Boogie! Great, Great idea! idea. <laughs> well, Bobby Babies, look who's here! <laughs> Hello, Hello, everyone! everyone. <laughs> I hope you enjoy our new song! Get ready, Get ready to, to join in. in! It's the Bobby Baby Boogie! <laughs> 
should give us some ideas. <gasps> A duster? Oh, oh, I know. I could be Cinderella. Mm, poor me, working hard all day. How I wish I could go to the ball. But how can you go to the ball, Cinderella? You haven't got a party frock to wear. <laughs> <laughs> This is so much fun! I found a walking stick. I baked a gingerbread man, but he jumped out of the oven and ran away. Run! Run! As fast as you can! You can't catch me! I'm the gingerbread man! <laughs> <laughs> you can't get me! You can't get me! <laughs> Come on! Come on! He's too slow, man! Wait <laughs> a minute. I don't think either of those stories is quite right for our play. Why not, Bobbin? Well, there are three of us, so maybe we need a story with three main characters. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hmm. Um. Um. What about... No, that won't work. Oh, I wish I could think of a good story with three main characters. I'm going to hear a story with three main characters. Is everybody sitting comfortably? Yes! Because today we're going to read the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once upon a time, there were one, two, three bears. Daddy Bear, Mummy Bear and Baby Bear. Every morning, they ate porridge for breakfast. Mm. Baby Bear tasted his porridge. Oh! <laughs> he said, let's go for a walk, said Mummy Bear. It will be cool when we get back. When they were out, a girl came to the house. Her name was... <laughs> the door was open. Goldilocks went in. Hello. 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 Anyone at home? No. <laughs> then Goldilocks saw one, two, three bowls of porridge. She tasted the porridge in the big bowl. Ooh, too hot, she said. She tasted the porridge in the middle-sized bowl. Ooh, Ooh too yeah. hot! Tasted the porridge in the little bowl. Mmm! Mm. Yes, yes wow. right! <laughs> and she ate it all up. Goldilocks was tired. Oh. She went upstairs and saw one, two, three beds. <laughs> the big bed looked too big. The middle-sized bed looked too middle-sized. But the little bed looked mm, just right. right. Oh. So 
Goldilocks fell fast asleep on the little bed, which was just the right size. And that's the beginning of the story. That's it! Goldie Dog and the Three Bobby Dogs! <laughs> 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 yes, Nog Dog, you're going to be Goldie Dog. Like Goldie Locks in the story the Bobby Nocular showed us. And we're the three Bobby Nogs, just like the three bears. Oh, come on, we've got Bobby Locks to do. <laughs> So, Goldie Dog fell fast asleep on the little bed, which was just the right size. Just then, the three Bobbinogs came home. Oggy Bobbinog went to the big bed. Who's been sleeping in my bed? Bobbin Bobbinog went to the middle-sized bed. Who's been sleeping in my bed? Nib Bobby Nog went to the little bed. Who's been sleeping in my bed? Oh, oh, whoever it is, is still there. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, the three Bobbinogs were so pleased to see Goldie Dog that they didn't mind about the porridge. And they all lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs> But sad. Her sisters would never go to the ball. But a fairy godmother with her magic wand. And she was fell at the ball after all. That was the story of Cinderella. Cinderella. Someone in this story was running away from a woman with a walking stick. But down by the river was a very hungry <gasps> fox who thought he would play a clever trick. That was the story of the, the gingerbread, gingerbread man. man. Story, story, we love stories. Happy ones, funny ones. But I'm not feeling at all well today. You just try and get better. We'll do everything else. I'll get your shopping for you. Thank you, Oggy Bach. Could you get me a box of tissues, a pot of honey and two lemons, please? Of course. Bye. Box of tissues, pot of honey and two lemons, please. Box of tissues, pop of honey and two lemons, please. Well, hello there, Augie. What are you going to do today? Do today? Do today? Well, I'm going to the shop, Ollie Mindy Bob, for Mam Gee Bobby Not. She's not feeling very well. I hope she feels better quick, quick, quick. I'll visit her later. Yes, indeed. But first I must plant these sunflower seeds. Want to help me, Augie? Sorry, I can't. I'm helping Mam Gee. Hmm. <laughs> right oh, right oh, right teetily oh. <laughs> Hello, Fireman Prout. Is there a fire? Well, it is well, it is well. And no, dilly no. 
but I've got to rush to Fionn's farm. Her cat is stuck up a tree again. I'm hoping this cat food will tempt it to come down. Would you like to help me, Oggy? Sorry, I can't. I'm helping Mamgy. Right o, right o, righty dilly o. <laughs> well, hello there, Aggie. Hello, Brenda the bus. Your bus is looking clean. Mm, oh yes, must keep it shiny and bright. You want to help me? Grab a couple of these bus dusters. Sorry, I can't. I'm helping Mamgy. Could I have, uh, no, um, what was it? Um, oh, 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 yes, um, some sunflower seeds, a tin of cat food, and two dusters, please. I've got your shopping, Mamgy. Sunflower seeds, a tin of cat food, and two dusters. There you go. Hmm. <gasps> toot, toot, toot. Oh, dear. What's the matter? I asked for a box of tissues, a pot of honey, and two lemons. Oh, no! I forgot what Mamgy wanted, and I bought all the wrong things. You'll, You'll have to go back to the shop, then. But how am I going to remember what Mamgy needs? I wish I knew. There are things huh? you need to see, so you should take a look through me. These people are all going shopping. Oh, there's Nishad and his dad. What are we going to do for shopping today? Hold on, let's have a look at the list. A, a list. list! That's a clever idea. Right. What do we need to get first, Nishad? Um, apples. Oh, I love apples. Look, Dad, put on veg. Right. So the apples must be here somewhere. There's lots of fruit, but where are the apples? There they are! Great, that's what we need. One, two. Excellent. Right, what do we need next? Look, Look at, at the, the list! list. Broccoli. broccoli. Where is it? Can you see any broccoli? Broccoli! broccoli. Boy. <laughs> Has she got a list? Hello! Hello! Hello. What are we getting <laughs> next? <laughs> Milk. What's here, Dad? That sign might help. Look. Sorry. Milk. Oh, the milk looks heavy. Yes, boy. In the trolley. <laughs> Cheese. We've got cheese here. Cheese! <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> right, Nishan, what's the last thing on the list? Pasta. There it is, Nishad. Pasta. Off they go to the checkout. Right. Apples. Apples. Broccoli. Broccoli. Milk. 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 Cheese. cheese. It's easy to know what you have to buy if you make a list. <laughs> now I've shown you what to do, so the rest is up to you. <laughs> yes, it's me again. Now, let me look at my list. A box of tissues, a pot of honey, and two lemons, please. Here's a bunch of daffodils to give to Mamgy because she's ill. I hope they help to make her smile. Tell her I'll see her in a short while. Flower power, Oggy. Look what I've got for you, Mamgy. They're from Ollie Mitty Bob. They're lovely, Cariad. But, er, uh, Oggy, where's the shop?
off pin. pin. Oh no, where did I put it? Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks, Ollie. Next time, I'll write one more thing on the end of my shopping list. What's that, Oggy? Bring the shopping home! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you have some things to remember And you're getting in a bit of a twist Just write them down in a big long line Yes, write them down in a list Make a list, make a list It helps if you make a list Forget what you have to get if you remember to make a list. Make a list before you go out shopping. Tomatoes, eggs, and a cheese baguette. Make a list of ingredients when cooking. Carrots, leeks, and a bit of courgette. Make a list of what you'd like for your birthday. Paper, pens, and a pink tea set. If you remember to make a list, you won't forget what you like to get. Make a list. Make a list. Make a list. Bobby Glockenspiel. Listen, what do you think it sounds like? That sounded very, very... Oh, how can I describe it? Very tinkly, Bobby. Tinkly? No, no, you're wrong, Oggy. It sounded soft and silvery. Listen. No, it was tinkly. Soft and silvery. Tinkly. Hey, you two. What do you think of my new bobby harp? Oh. That was bobbing beautiful, Nib. And, well, wonderfully watery. Watery? No, you're wrong, Bobbin. It sounded sparkly. It was definitely watery. Sparkly! Watery! Sparkly! <laughs> oh, dear. What sounds can you make on your Bobby bass drum, Oggy? Hmm. Well, what do you think? Wow! I think that sounded really exciting and... Thumpy. Thanks, Nib. How about you, Bobby? I think it just sounded loud. Oh. Well, I think we've got some great sounds for our new song. I know. I think the dragons will love it. Well, I'm not going to the concert if Oggy keeps arguing and saying I'm wrong. Me? You said I was wrong too. There you go again. You started it. No, you did. You. You. <laughs> oh, dear. I wish I knew how to stop Oggy and Bobbin arguing. There are things you need to see, so you should take a look through. Listen to these musical instruments. Oh, they're playing our Bobby Knobs tune. <laughs> <laughs> this is a violin. Sometimes it makes high soaring sounds. And this double bass can make deep, low sounds. Sometimes, music can be fast and speedy, like this music played on a harp. Oh, I wish I could play my bobby harp like that. But music can be slow and steady, like this tune on the trombone. The children think this music sounds... Slow and friendly. <laughs> Calm and smooth. Shiny music. <laughs> oh, yeah. These instruments can play all kinds of music together. But how do the children think this music sounds? This 
fuzzy and bubbly. <gasps> oh. Light and fast. Oh. Skippy and jiggly. <laughs> <laughs> Happy and pretty tappy. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of fun. Yeah. <laughs> There's a glocking spiel just like mine. Twinkly and sparkly. Oh. <laughs> like a fairy dancing. Oh, I love that. <laughs> There's my bobby bass drum. Booming. <gasps> Noisy. <laughs> Angry and loud. Oh. Like a giant. Yeah. <laughs> so you see, there are many different ways to describe music, and there is no right or wrong answer. Thanks, Bobby Noculars. <laughs> Now I've shown you what to do, so the rest is up to you. Bobbintastic! That's given me lots more ideas. Me too. There are so many words you can use to describe music. Yes, and there's no right or wrong answer. It's how you feel the music sounds. Oggy, if you think my Bobby Glockenspiel sounded tinkly, that's fine by me. I'm sorry for arguing. I'm sorry too, Bobbin. Thing is, we were both right. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, there's only one thing to do. What? Put some super sounds together to make a Bobbin-tastic new song for the concert. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think this music is like water glistening in a pool. Mm, a beautiful blue pool. Or maybe it's gorgeous green. <laughs> <laughs> magic map, magic map, take us to... Dragon Mountain! <laughs> <laughs> Look! Oh, I wonder what the dragons will think of our music. Dragons and Dragonettes, by popular demand, and with some exciting new instruments and sensational sounds, the Bob and Oz! Oh, yes! <laughs> Like to, say. to me, it's water glistening in a pool, but is it green or sparkling white? Happy daytime or dark night? Is it steaming hot or calm and cool? Beautiful blue! Clear and cool. <laughs> Wishy and watery. When you hear the music play, think of words you'd like to say. To me, it sounds like dragon stamping feet, but are they strong or feather light? Fast and furious, dull or bright, is it fierce and scary or sugary sweet? Fierce and scary, sugary sweet like us. Lovely and loud. When you hear the music play, think of words you'd like to say. To me it sounds like a lullaby, but is it high or very low? Soft or loud, fast or slow, is this music soft and gentle? Soft and gentle, cuddly and warm. So sleepy, dragon soft. Mm. Sparkly, watery, friendly, gentle. It sounded sensational. <laughs> Morning, Bobbin. Morning, Nib. Lovely day for a... a walk to the shops. Great. We need some shopping. You stay there and I'll fetch the list. Oh! It's my turn to do the shopping. Yes, it is. Thanks, Bobbin. See you later. <laughs> well, I suppose I'd better do the shopping if it's my turn. Even if it is my Bobby birthday. <laughs> She's gone, Oggy. Now we can get on. We could, but I don't understand this recipe. What's a recipe? 
It's a list of ingredients and instructions for making something. There's a recipe for a Bobby birthday cake on these pieces of paper, but it doesn't sound quite right. Finally, put it in a tin and bake in the oven. Huh? Next, mix everything together. But it doesn't make... First, put eggs, sugar, butter and flour in a bowl. Something odd's happened to my recipe. Oh, dear. I wish we knew what to do. There are things you need to see, so you should take a look through me. Is Nishad. Oh, he's saying hello to us with his feet. Hello. hello. He's putting his shoes on. But, oh, dear, he's forgotten his socks. He can't put his socks on top of his shoes. Oops. <laughs> no, no, no. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 dear. So Nishad is taking off his shoes again and putting on his socks. That's right, because socks come first. And then his shoes. <laughs> Here's Neve. She's going to put three pictures in the right order. Oh, this looks fun. Mm, flower, shoot, seed. Which comes first, I wonder? Yes. Oh, right. And then this comes next. <laughs> then the flower. Oh, oh. Yes. Well done, Neve. Yes, that's the right order. First the seed. Oh, then the shoot. And last. The flower! <laughs> oh, there's Nishad and his dad again. Oh, I think he's going to wash his hands. What do you need to do first? Um... First, he uses soap to clean his hands. Oh, lots and lots of it. Ooh. Next, he rinses his hands to wash the soap away. And finally, he dries them. That's the right order. Here's something else which happens in order. This is Reese. Hello, Hello Reese. Reese is very young, so he can't walk yet. But when babies grow bigger, they begin to crawl, just like Caleb. And then they start to walk, just like Joseph is doing. So you see, all sorts of things happen in a certain order. Oh. Thanks, Thanks Bobby, Bobby Noculus! <laughs> <laughs> now I've shown you what to do, so the rest is up to you. Oggy, why did the Bobby Noculus show us things happening in a certain order? Hmm. Hmm. I know. These instructions must be in the wrong order. They probably got muddled up when I dropped them. So what do you usually do first when you bake a cake? Wash my hands. I've done that already. Have you? Yes. But which of these instructions comes first? Ah. First, put eggs, sugar, butter and flour in a bowl. OK, Oggy. First, Things first. Here you are, Oggy. Thanks, Nib. What's next? Well, finally, put it in a tin and bake in the oven. Or, next, mix everything together. What do you think, Oggy? It's next. Mix everything together. <laughs> Finally, put it in a tin and bake in the oven. Yes, that makes sense. Very carefully, because the oven's hot. There, we've done it, Nib. The recipe only worked once we got the instructions in the right order. You'll have to be quick icing it, Oggy. Bobbin will be back any minute. There we go! Oh, hello, Nib. Hello, Oggy. Just in time. 
Bobbin! Oggy and I have forgotten my Bobby birthday! Oh no, Bobbin! We did remember, and we made you a surprise! <gasps> That is a surprise! I didn't know you were making a cake! Oh. Oh, so you bought one at the shop! Oh! Now we've got two cakes! <laughs> yes! So it's lucky I asked lots of our friends to tea too, isn't it? Happy Bobby birthday, Bobby! <laughs> <laughs> Finally, what comes Blue last? Bill. Some things have an order like ABC. Some things have an order like one, two, three. What do you do before you put on your shoe? Put on your sock. Put on your sock. Socks come first, then your shoes. Yes, some things have an order. What do you do to grow a shoot? You plant a seed. Plant a seed. Seed then shoot and next the flower. Yes, some things have an order. What do you do before you dry your hands? Wash them with soap. Wash them with soap. Wash then rinse and next you dry. Yes, some things have an order. What happens first? Then what's next? Finally, what comes Ooh, last? Bill. Some things have an order like A, B, C. Some things have an order like one, two, three. At the crossroads, turn left. Look out for a bobbinog and a bicycle. Keep going straight on. And you'll see me. Oh, OK, Mamgi. Uh, don't worry. We'll find you. Mamgi's given me some directions. So follow me. I'll lead the way. Come on, Nog Dog. We're going to a new picnic area Mamgi's found. <laughs> Why love picnics? Is it far, Oggy? No. Mamgi said it's just a short walk. <laughs> Oh, good. The crossroads. Now, what did Mamgi say? At the crossroads, turn left. <laughs> left? Oh, but which way is left? It's, um, uh, um, this way. Follow me. I lead the way. Are you hmm. sure, Oggy? <laughs> Hello there! Oggy, <laughs> shouldn't we be at the picnic area by now? Well, Mamgi said... Look out for a bobby nog and a bicycle. OK. We've seen a bobby nog in a bus. And a bobby nog and a tractor. But not a bobby nog and a bicycle. Uh, don't worry. Follow me. I'll lead the way. <laughs> the crossroads <laughs> again, Oggy. Sorry. I've gone a bit wrong somewhere. Oh, dear. I wish I knew more about how to follow directions. There are things you need to see. These children know all about directions. Directions are easy to follow. All together, I to the right. Up they go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Forwards towards us. Yeah. <laughs> Please follow my directions. Jump forwards two jumps. One, two. <laughs> Jump backwards one jump. One. Jump to the left. <laughs> Jump to the right. Two jumps. Two jumps. One, two. two. <laughs> excellent. Well, that was an <laughs> excellent, excellent way to show directions. <laughs> I'm jumping forward to the orange circle. 
I'm walking backwards to the blue circle. I'm skipping left to the yellow circle. I'm hopping right to the blue circle. <laughs> when you want to get from one place to another, there are all sorts of signs that can give you clues. Signs can help to show you the right way to go. It's like the sign Mam Key told you to look for, Oggy. Some signs have names of places on them to help you find your way. This shows us the way to Llandav and Llantrisant. Oh, and this should take us to Bargoid and Astrid Manach. Signs are all around you, and they're there to help. Thanks, Thanks Bobby, Bobby Noculus! <laughs> <laughs> Now I've shown you what to do, so the rest is up to you. Oh, so maybe there are signs that can help us find the picnic area. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we all help with the directions this time, Oggy? Fantastic idea! Right, all together now. The crossroads again, Oggy. Um. At the crossroads, turn left. What's the matter? Oh, yes, Nog Dog. There's a sign. Hey, it shows which way to go to the picnic area. Oh, why didn't we notice that before? <laughs> the sign's pointing over there. So I think that way must be left. All together now. <laughs> Look. Out for a bobby nog and a bicycle. Oh, they're on the sign! Of course! All together now! <laughs> Off we go! <laughs> Yoo-hoo! <Monkey! laughs> well done, Frindia Bach. You made it. Die Sorry we kept you waiting, Mamgy. It was my fault. I was so busy being the leader, I didn't look out for the signs. And we didn't know which way was left or right. I wondered if that might be a problem. So I knitted this for you while I was waiting. Toot, toot. Put it on, Noggy Bach. OK. Oh, turn around, Doggy. Wow. Thank you, Mamgy. <laughs> now you'll always know which way is left <laughs> and which is right. <laughs> yes, Dog Dog. And how to go round and round in circles. <laughs> <laughs> Now, which way was it? How do you know which direction to go? Look for a sign! Look for a sign! Which way is it? How do you know? Look for, look look for, for a, a sign! When you're going for a walk or in a car Look, look for, for a sign! sign. If your journey is quite short or even so far Look for a sign! How do you know which direction to go? Look for a sign, look for a sign. Which way is it? How do you know? Look for a, 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 look for a sign. Oh, sorry, have you stopped? Is that all right?